Somebody's gonna win a box today. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scooby Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button over here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys will be notified every time we upload new content. Now in today's video, we're actually going to go over an explanation of the question that we asked in our previous video on a physics related question. We're also going to be announcing the winner of our free giveaway as well. So stay tuned to the end of the video for that. But anytime that you're dealing with scuba physics, whether it's a search and recovery class, a science and diving class, a professional level scuba course, or it's anytime you just want to have more knowledge as a scuba diver, you need to make sure that whatever the question is, you read it in completion. So read it top to bottom, and then you need to be able to pick out the information that is actually needed to answer that question. So let's review real quick what the question was, and then I'll show you how to break it down both in the metric and the imperial system, so it's going to be easier for you in the future to answer questions just like this one. So if we take a close look at the question again, it says a 600 kilogram, 1,350 pound cement block lies in 19 meters or 63 feet of fresh water. The block displays 300 liters or 11 cubic feet of water. To move that block off the bottom, what is the minimum amount of water that must be displaced from a lifting device? Now that question has a ton of information in it. What we're going to do is break the question down and just pick out the information that we need to be able to answer it. And we're going to look at this both in the imperial and the metric system. So taking a close look again, we see that the object weighs 1,350 pounds. We also see that the object displaces 11 cubic feet of fresh water and it's important to note here that fresh water is a determining factor because both fresh water and salt water are going to have two different weight calculations so I'm going to write fresh water down as well just so that it makes my calculations even more accurate the last thing that we need to know is how much does fresh water weigh per cubic foot? And if you remember this from your open water class, it comes in at 62.4 pounds per cubic foot. This was something that we did in a physics related video back in the day. I'll link it up here somewhere for you. It'll definitely be down in the description. And it was a five minute physics lesson. So go check that out because all this information that you need to be able to calculate this is in that video as well. But since I have the three determining factors at this point, I can actually start with the calculation. What I'm going to take is the amount of water it displaces, and I'm going to multiply it by how much a cubic foot of water weighs. So I'm going to take the 11 cubic feet, I'm going to times that by the 62.4 cubic feet, and that's going to actually give me an answer of 686.4 pounds. And what that is, is actually the buoyant force this object has in the water. So at the surface, that object weighs 1,350 pounds, but underwater it weighs 686.4 pounds. So that's the buoyant lifting force that it has actually underwater. Now to get the difference, all I've got to do is subtract that number from the original number. So I can take 1,350 and minus the 686.4 40 and that's going to give me an answer of 663 and a half pounds of lift needed so i need to be able to have 663 and a half pounds to be able to lift that object up but to actually determine how much cubic footage that's going to be all i have to do is simply divide it by how much a cubic foot of water weighs which is 62.4 pounds and that's going to give me an answer of 10.63 cubic feet of water needs to be displaced to lift that object. This is the basic arithmetic of how you determine that answer in the imperial system. Now we're going to take a close look at the question again, but we're going to calculate it using the metric system. So if we take a quick look at the question one more time, but we pull out the information we need on the metric side is, what we need to know is the 600 kilogram weight of the object. We also need to know the 300 liters of displacement that that object displaces, if you will, or 300 liters of water. So I'm going to write that up here. I'm going to put 600 kilograms, which is the weight of the object above water. And I'm also going to put 300 liters of water because that's how much it displaces. Now, just like in the imperial system, we need to know how much water weighs, say, per cubic foot. Well, in this instance, we need to know how much water weighs per uh, liter, if you will. And 
the metric system in this particular situation is going to be very, very simple. And I know a lot of you guys caught that uh, in the first video that we did that the answer is actually in the question itself. But to break down the math for you to show you how it works, basically a liter of water is going to weigh one kilogram. So I'm going to write one kilogram there. And the arithmetic here is going to be identical to what it was in the imperial system. We're going to take how much water displaces and multiply it by how much a liter of water actually weighs. So I'm going to take 300 and times that by th one kilogram. That's going to, of course, come up to uh, 300 kilograms, which once again is the buoyant force this object has once it's placed in the water. So it may weigh 600 kilograms above water, but thanks to the buoyant uh, force or Archimedes principle, if you will, it only weighs 300 kilograms underwater. Then I simply minus that from its beginning weight. So I'm going to take 600 minus 300, and that's going to give me, of course, 300 kilograms which in this particular situation is the answer, but we want to finish the math on out. And so to do that, I'm going to simply divide it out by that one kilogram weight of what uh, the water itself is or how much a liter of water weighs. And of course, 300 divided by one is going to come up to um, 300 liters of water. So that being said, that is the metric measurement compared to the imperial metric. Whichever one works for you, that's great. We actually teach our students both and we give them an option to learn whichever method they like. But like I said, you're gonna use this in the open water course, you're gonna use this in the search and recovery course, you're gonna use this in the science of diving course, or even a professional level course. This is great information that you need to know as a diver. But time, guys, without further ado, it is time to announce the winner of our free giveaway and that winner is... Mr. Andrew Hayes. Now guys, what we did was took all the correct answers from the previous video and put it into a name generator and it randomly selected one person and Andrew, you happen to be the person that selected. So what I want you to do is do two things for me. One, I need you to email us at lakehickoryscuba at gmail.com and put your information in the email where we can ship this to. Number two, I want you to look at both of these boxes and choose which one you want. The first one has black beard on it. It's got a nice little storage container in the bottom, but it's also kind Kind of a wine glass uh, holder if you will it holds a, two couple wine glasses and you can even put a wine bottle in it the other one is a nice sailing scene so it's got a ton of sailboats on it and it's just a nice storage boxes remember both of these boxes were given to us by relic wood and we want to thank them again for the previous sponsorship that they did and guys go check relic wood out there'll be a link in the description below you can have a custom box made for you or for a loved one for whatever a wedding a, a graduation or just a nice box to give somebody so thank you again to Relic Wood for their sponsorship and Andrew we will be looking forward to your email as well but guys if you like this video do me a huge favor give me a big thumbs up definitely share it as well as always make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter like us on Facebook pin us on Pinterest subscribe to us here on YouTube and as always guys we appreciate your business